it's an Aldi day and that means that we are finding out what is new at Aldi. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Megan, if you're new here. I go to Aldi, I show you what's new. I buy stuff too because, you know, like I need some groceries and we're gonna have a ton of fun. I've already seen lots of things that are making my eyes happy and I can't wait to bring you along. Let's go shopping. I'll link the video from last week below because some of these treasures, you know, I've already shown you and I don't want to reshow them, but I did want to show you over here that they have faux floral stem assortments. If you want to get a little fall floral in your life, grab the vase over here. Decorative vase is going to be $9.99. That's pretty. I like how that's got the lines on there. Not just, ooh, and the bottom is cool. And then you get to make your own bouquet. Like, look, you find that and there's your bouquet. I love the yellow. That is fall every which way. And that kind of purpley-ish leaf sort of burnt orangish red right there oh my word and each of those floral stems are $3.99 let me show you just one so you know exactly what you're getting this guy right here one little stem $3.99 for him grab a couple of those and you've got yourself a bouquet I have to show you the different options though I love and when I say love I mean I love this one that blown glass look, and then I like the little beading detail on the top. This one's a pretty one too, kind of that orange color to it. And by the way, these are 10 inches tall if you're interested. I decided we're gonna go ahead and get some apple cider. $5.79, I was at Sam's Club yesterday and I said that the price at Aldi was similar. Well, it's 20 cents less here. It's not just similar, it's less. I make apple cider donut bread and my kids are looking forward to that, so we're gonna use that to make it. Also needing to grab some new cilantro. Our last one lasted and lasted. I was so happy. 85 cents for him. It took me a minute to find some nice strawberries. I had to pick through them. $2.49 for these. I'm only grabbing one. Usually I get two or three, but I guess we're just going to have to make do with one, which is fine. It'll all work out. Look here. Fall breakfast bread in maple or brown sugar and oat. So here's the brown sugar. Where's the maple? Oh, there's the maple. Oh my God. Goodness, how many of you have had that? Those are running you $3.99 for those. Okay, I love the Loft House cookies and this is what's going on. S'mores, Loft House cookies? I had no idea. Have you ever seen that before? So it looks like it's a chocolate chip cookie with some frosting on the top and a little sprinkles to get you happy. Soft and delicious, it says. $3.95 for those. Now here's what I'm talking about. Chocolate peanut butter candy cookies made with Reese's Pieces. Yes, all day, every day. $3.89 for that one. There's also just the peanut butter candy cookie, so it doesn't have the chocolate cookie with it. And this one is also going to run you $3.89. How about triple chocolate brownie cookies? Um, uh-huh. And then Fluffernutter. <laughs> what is Fluffernutter? Fluffernutter is peanut butter cookies loaded with marshmallows and peanut butter marshmallows is that what that says okay wow those are 4.89 yikes that's an investment right there who's tried them tell me what you think i don't usually buy bread at aldi because i find it to be kind of on the drier side and like more holy i guess is the word it's just an odd texture to us so i, ha I don't typically buy that but this one is a different one this is like this next step up, made with whole grain white bread, and it's $1.99. Now, I could get a little cheaper if I ran over to Walmart. I think for theirs, it's only like three cents cheaper, but I just want to give it a try, just see how we like it. What do you think? Am I going to like it more than the classic white right there for $1.29? I think I am. It already feels different. Is your Aldi out with the squashes? We've got the butternut squash, the acorn squash, and the spaghetti squash, all ones that I love lots, 99 cents for those two. And this one, it says it's green grapes, which we both know that that's not green grapes. So what's the price? I don't know, but maybe you know. We decided that we want to do uh, s'mores with our friends again in our neighborhood at $1.99. I'm going to grab two boxes of these. The last time I think we ate up every last one. I'm also grabbing some saltines for $1.49, just one box. Pumpkin spice or apple cinnamon pretzels. Yogurt covered pretzels. Okay, $2.99. This one's a newbie. Let's check out the apple cinnamon one. You know which one I would prefer, don't you? Is it this one? Yes. I just wanted to show you kind of what's going on over in our baking area. Everything is getting filled up. We never have these many chocolate chips ever. We never have these many pecans and walnuts unless it's the most wonderful time of the year. Never have the pumpkin pie mix or the pumpkin puree or the fried apples or the apple filling. Like, this is exciting. And look how much evaporated milk is here. And is this condensed milk? Oh yeah. So get ready for pies, get ready for cakes and donuts and breads and cookies and just heaven, just heaven. 
They've even got their melting wafers. Oh, the white and the dark. Come on now, $2.99. And then the almond bark, you can get the uh, almond bark vanilla for $3.39 or the almond bark chocolate for $3.39. They say they're new, but really I think they're just new for the season because I'm fairly certain I bought these last year. Keebler Graham mini pie crust, six of them in the container, $2.94. The question is, how do you get these home without them breaking? Look at this thin, slim packaging. I've, I almost thought like, where is it all? But it's in there, it's just piled onto each other. If we're gonna have people over, we certainly have to get marshmallows, $1.09 for the big old marshmallows. Just in time for chili, check this out. Gluten-free cheddar biscuit or cornbread mix. That's what I like to have my chili with, cornbread. And by the way, these are grain free. So if you can do corn and all of that, there was a time in my life I could not and the sadness was deep. But $3.99 for these, these are the gluten free ones. And I just tried some Live G Free uh, donuts last time. And let me tell you what, heaven, I'm in heaven. Now, interestingly enough, if you are not gluten free, look what they do have, the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix. Oh, I really like this one. I've had it a lot, $2.58 for the box. My children have pleaded with me to get applesauce. So we like the unsweetened applesauce and I sprinkle cinnamon over the top. 309? What? No, that cannot be. Is it? I know this wasn't 309 before. Whoa, that's crazy talk. Sad cries, sad cries. 309 is really the thing. It's like 312 at Walmart, so not much different. Oh, I'm sad. I told them I'd get them one, so one it is. I usually buy like three at a time. Haven't bought them in quite a while. The price has really skyrocketed, especially this time of year when apples are the best. What? Whole berry cranberry sauce. If you're interested, I can link below my homemade cranberry sauce that is so good. $1.59 for the jelly cranberry sauce and $1.59 for the whole berry cranberry sauce. I love cranberry sauce, yum. Okay, for our chocolate needs, for our s'mores, I did get the Hershey's Milk Chocolate, $4.98, two packs of those. And then down below, it was $1.67 for the eight pack of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, snack size, eight of them. So I'm getting two, which means 16. And listen, if you want to elevate your s'mores to the next level, this is what you do. You use this instead of Hershey's. And then I thought, why don't we just get really crazy and try it with Kit Kats too? So they're only $1.67 for the eight size snack thing. And I'm like, yes. So I think we're going to be good like this is going to be a really good s'more situation i have to show you the charcuterie shop here from specially selected look how fancy you guys shall we look at all the treasures lots of new ones mixed in with a few oldies but hey i think it makes all the good honey with honeycomb in it not suitable for infants under 12 months i hope you know that don't give your babies honey until they're old enough but anyway delicate and mild it's got the honeycomb right in it $7.49, that is an intense price for 12 ounces. So that better be really, really good. Then we can also do some infused olive oil. I like making my own, but these are infused. So we've got chili infused, and these are imported from Italy, garlic infused, rosemary infused, and that's it. Those are $4.99. Then we're gonna move over to the cheese pairings. Doesn't that sound fancy? I love it. You get an entire box. There's four of these guys. Fig and honey spread. Then we have pear and cinnamon up there on the right. Cherry and rosemary down on the bottom and apricot and cumin spread on the bottom right. And it says, pairs well with hard cheese. Oh. Ooh, it even tells you right on the box what it pairs with as far as cheese goes. So the fig and honey goes with goat cheese, the pear and cinnamon goes with brie, oh I love brie, and the cherry and rosemary with the blue cheese, and apricot and cumin with hard cheddar cheese, which I'm all about that too. $6.99 for that. You guys, we could have so much fun. Let's have like a charcuterie party. Fig or sour cherry fruit spread. Okay, there's your sour cherry. It's pretty, isn't it? And then there's your premium fig fruit spread. Now, what do you spread that on? Just like like a baguette? I mean, I'm about that. Maybe on a, maybe on oh some crackers or something. Two ninety nine for those. I kind of want to try this fig one. Would you go for the sour cherry or would you go for the fig? I think I like this one. Let's give it a whirl. Now they've got onion chutney, sweet and savory. Please tell me, what do I do with this stuff? I have no idea. I'm not this fancy. And then we have the red pepper fruit spread, $2.99 for those. Kona almonds, rosemary or sea salt. Ooh. And there's the rosemary. Those are $4.99. Wow, that's not much. That's five ounces for $5 pretty much. Ooh. That's a little hard one. 
So we've got dark chocolate espresso beans, and then we have more dark chocolate. It's all dark chocolate. It says there's milk chocolate, but I see that nowhere, nowhere at all. $3.99, love that. At first glance, I saw down here that it looked like salami was spelled incorrectly, or it was some sort of fancy way of spelling it that I, know, I didn't know about. I just had to Google it. Here's what Google told me. Salami there with the E on the end. I don't even know if I'm saying right. Um, that's the singular form of salami with the I, which is the plural form. So I hope that a little lesson was good for you. Now I know something. I didn't know that there was a plural, but now I do. Genoa Italian Dry Calabrese. Let's say that, Calabrese, because that sounds fancy. We've got it for $9.99 for those. And then you can also do the ones that are not cut yet. You do them yourself. They're the same, but just you got to cut it yourself. So it depends on how you feel about that. Now we also have the salamini. Oh my word, there's so many options. And these are little morsels. How cute are those? <laughs> Those are really cute. Those are gonna run you $2.98. I don't know if I told you, the um, salami, salame, salamini is going to cost you $3.99 per little log there. You definitely have to have olives to go with this guy. $2.98 for the jars. We have feta cheese stuffed olives. We have jalapeno jack cheese. Oh wow. We have white cheddar cheese. And then what else? Do we have any more? No. And then we have tapenada assorted flavors. Please don't judge me if I don't say things right. It's just, it's my, it's my struggle in life. Whole grain mustard. And then we've got horseradish mustard. Sweet mustard. We've said that one. Okay, it looks like those are your options. $2.49 for those. And then the herb or chili, and these are those tiny little pickles, and they're really cute. I like those, so there's the chili. One time you guys told me how to say this and I've already forgotten because that's how my brain works. Is that it? Well, I don't see the herb one, but maybe they do have it at your store for $2.99. Every charcuterie board needs these little Italian breadsticks. They're crunchy, they're yummy. These are rosemary or the mixed seed. And those are the only two I'm seeing. Um, this is not right because it says Betty Crocker, so I don't know how much that is, but I'll let you know if I find out. Some more charcuterie fun. Melted Romano cheese crisps. Multi-layered sourdough and Romano cheese crackers. Oh, I've said it before, but I make sourdough bread almost every week, so when things say sourdough, I get really excited. $3.49 for these. You have either the cheese crisps Asiago and cheddar or melting Romano. So let's see. Here's the Asiago and cheddar and you just get to eat that with whatever your heart desires. How about some specialty crackers? Mini Rosemary Artisan Crackers. What's it say? Inspired by traditional regional recipes that have been perfected over generations. These popular crackers are crafted with the finest ingredients. Well, hot dogs. So they have the original and then the rosemary. I feel like the rosemary would be really delightful. $3.49. Wafer crackers. This is cracked pepper. There's also sesame. I'll show you that one in a minute. So wafer crackers are the perfect light and crispy accompaniment. Wafer crackers are the perfect light and crispy. I can't even say it, you guys. Let me try this again. <laughs> wafer crackers are the perfect light and crispy accompaniment to any entertainer's platter. Any entertainers out there? Look at that, man. You get those jellies and then you've got the world at your fingertips. Look at that. So either cracked pepper or sesame or the original. $2.49 for each of these different yummies. Look at all the stuff you can put on there. Fancy. Scalloped crackers. This one's garlic. Thin, light, and crispy. So we're all about the thin, light, and crispy going on right here. These are $1.99 for the pack. That's just like a perfect size for a charcuterie board. So you have the garlic, there is sea salt, and then there's sea salt and pepper. Ooh, that sounds good. And then Norwegian. Where are my Norwegians at? Say hey in the comments. Okay, we've got Norwegian crisp breads, herbs, and sea salt, or everything. Okay, here's the everything Norwegian crisp bread. $2.99. Here's the herb and sea salt. Let's see, what's it say at the bottom? Made with seeds, grains, herbs, and sea salt. And it is imported from Norway. You guys, we've got to try this, don't we? Which one should I try? The everything or the herb and sea salt? Hmm, $2.99. I'm gonna do the herb and sea salt. Let's just be, let's just live wild. And then we also have the crostini toast. Perfect, toasted it to perfection. Just add your favorite toppings. It's all about the toppings on these guys. These are just the carriers of the toppings to me. That's kind of what it seems like. And they also have the garlic herb. This is grilled crostini toasts, $3.49. Guys, we need to have a little party with all this stuff. Wouldn't that be fun? 
Hawaiian stuffing mix, you guys, made with Hawaiian bread. I think I saw this last year too. It's probably been around for a long time. I'm just recently noticing it though. Classic herbs and spices, you can do that one or you can do sage and onion. Cooks in five minutes, just like your regular stuffing does. $1.39 for that one. If you want the traditional, they have that, but that's just a given. They, of course they have that. Here's a little Aldi fine fully baked chicken pot pie with white meat, chicken, peas, and carrots double crusted. Oh man, $9.99 for that one. How many of you have tried it? Oh my, this is safe to eat raw, eat or bake. I mean, I eat the cookie dough whether it's safe or not, to be quite honest, but this is the Pillsbury cookie dough sugar cookie. I sure wish that my sugar cookie designs would turn out beautiful like they do in the pictures. $3.68 for those guys. $3.49 for these dark chocolate and sea salt caramel pretzel clusters. Dark chocolate, sea salt, creamy caramel and pretzels. This one right here actually looks really good. Caramel apple chocolate clusters. Uh, soft creamy caramel apple caramel. Wait, soft creamy caramel apple caramel. <laughs> okay, with shortbread cookie pieces and milk chocolate with peanut sprinkles. I've never heard of creamy caramel apple caramel but now you have and I have. $3.49, oh wait, there's one more. Milk chocolate s'mores clusters. Milk chocolate, marshmallow, creamy caramel, and crunchy honey graham. Oh, that sounds good. We don't need any more sweets in our lives, I don't think. I might come back and give those a whirl. I don't know, I'll let you know. Okay, check this out, brand new. Soft drink, serve chilled grape soda. This is naturally and artificially flavored, four bottles. You can do the grape soda or you can do this one, which is unexpected in every way, cotton candy. Cotton candy soda? These are 319, either the grape or the cotton candy. Which one would you choose? Some of you guys told me that the pumpkin applesauce was really good. I, I'm not ready to jump in for six of them, but $1.95 and some of you say it's good, so you might wanna try that one. I was just at Sam's Club the other day where they had fruit strips and you could get 48 of them, um, which is a little different than the Aldi one, which is 40 of them. You're actually gonna save two cents per little strip if you get this at Sam's Club, if you're really wanting to get into it. But if you don't want to go to Sam's Club, maybe you don't have a membership, but you want to try these fruit strips, they are $9.49. You get 40 of them. They're 20 strawberry and 20 wild berry, and they kind of have like a Halloween-ness to them. I don't know if it's on the package or what. It doesn't say, but there you have them. Lots and lots of candy out right now. Let me tell you what, this one that has the 90, I compared it to Walmart. Guys, you can save like $6 and get it at Walmart for the exact same thing. So I would highly suggest you just bypass this if you can. And if you can go ahead and get it at Walmart or at your grocery store, obviously compare your prices. I'm all about that. I believe in price comparing to my core. So you may find a good price elsewhere. I'm just saying, but if you can't go elsewhere, candy is here. I'm just going to give you the overview and let you see all that goodness. Although Brock's candy corn is a lot cheaper here than Walmart. So the bag is smaller, but the price per ounce is cheaper. So you're saving like, oh, 1.8 cents per ounce if you get it here. Harvest wreaths. Oh, that one's cute with the pumpkins. 18 inches. Best for indoor or covered outdoor. Includes the wreath hanger and the ribbon. These are my favorite. The funny looking ones are the best and ones that are just like not your typical color, you know, outside of the orange realm. I like that. It's on sale, $4 off and it's $14.99 for that one. Ooh, I love patio string lights. Let's take a look at this guy. So these are patio string lights. They're a set of 10 count of string lights. And if you can string them pretty, man, wouldn't that look gorgeous in your backyard? I do declare, $14.99 for those, okay. I will say that Sam's Club's inflatables are expensive and they're huge and ginormous, but what if you just want a little, little something? Four foot tall, they have the bat, he's cute. I like the happy things. And then they've got the pumpkin. Anybody have those trash bags when you were a kid that was shaped like a pumpkin? You were supposed to not put trash in it, but put leaves in it, I wonder. Do they still make those? And then they have the pumpkin goblin and even he's happy. So you, oh wait, and a four foot spider, which would just terrorize my children. $12.99 for those if you are interested. Oh, there's a cat up there too. Craft kits, $6.99. Oh, I know my Johanna would love, love, love all of this stuff. Okay, we have bracelets, 
We have bath and shower bomb kit. We have the tie dye kit, unleash your inner artist. And then we have the pottery kit, which is really pretty. These are all on sale, new, $6.99. The weather is changing and our puppies need their coats, don't they? Oh my word, that's so cute. <laughs> $4.99 for the pet coats. Okay, they have them from extra small all the way up to extra large. They've got yellow, blue, they've got pink. Oh, look at the inside, it even has plaid on it. Come on now, that is cute. What else do they have? That's the blue again. Any other colors? Oh, there's kind of like a brown. I like that brown, it's pretty. Those are really adorable, not gonna lie. I really like those a lot. Not only do they have these little pet coats, you can also get the pet sweater. Okay, it's too much, it's too much. How stinking cute. We've got pink, oh my word, with little balls on it. Did I just see stripes? You know my love for stripes. Would George like this? <laughs> Would he hate me? He'd be like, no. I gotta do it, you guys. I gotta get George a fall sweater. He's $4.99. That is so cute, okay. George is a mini Aussie doodle, so I think the medium will fit him. Did you get to see the other options? I don't think you did. Okay, that one's cute. We've got the um, brown plaid, and that's really all I'm seeing here. So, time to get doggy all cuted up. Now, if your doggies are inside, you might want to get yourself a love seat cover, an armchair cover, or a sofa cover, or all three. I mean, the options are limitless. And these are gonna cost you $12.99, which isn't a bad price at all. They have the brown, they've got the gray, and I think that might be the only two options. So it's gonna look like this on your sofa, here on your love seat, there on your armchair. Nice. Ladies tall rain roots are in. Okay, so these have some flowers on the side, pretty. You can also get ones with cats, I think. Let's get really close. Does it look like it's raining cats and dogs? That's what it is. Oh my, <laughs> that is so funny. Why do I love that so much? $14.99 for those. And if you're gonna buy these, can I suggest another thing that you should grab? What about the $4.99 ladies two pair boot socks? These feel like not too thick crazy. Cause you know when you're wearing boots, like thick socks are great, but if they're too thick, your toes are all cranky at you. You don't want that. Look at those colors, aren't those pretty? I like it. We're gonna call that one like a burgundy wine and like a light purple. And then we've got double blues on this one. And we've got kind of the neutrals here with the darks and the lights. And I think those are your options. For $4.99, get those. Get the raining cats and dogs boots down there and your world is right. I would call myself part-time artistic or like crafty. I'm a part-timer. I'm not full on crafty, but I'm part-time. And I have some macrame wall hangs that I've made at my house. I've even showed them on the channel. I'll show them to you right here in a clip that you can see what I've made. But if you wanna make your own, what about getting a kit from Aldi? How cute are these? I love these so much. Macrame is so satisfying, I feel like. Now, I would have never thought that this was macrame, but it must be the type of See, this is where my part-time crafting comes in because I'm just like, what? That doesn't look like macrame to me. But it's a pumpkin craft kit. And that looks really cute and super fun. And look, at everything's included. And hopefully it's easy. $4.99. Oh, wait a minute. You can also do the white with a blue handle. I actually like that one the best. Very cute. How many crafters are out there? What's your favorite thing to craft? Like, are you a scrapbooker? Are you a, a maker, a painter, a, you know, a kitter? $9.99 for super soft leggings two pack. These feel like thick thin. Do you know what I mean? Like a comfortable thick, it's not over the top. And uh, you get two of them. They're mid-rise velvety soft fabric, which I can attest to. And then you get spandex for comfort. Gotta suck all that business in. You don't wanna be jiggly wiggling. $9.99, here's purple and black back there. And we've got like a blue leopard on the front and then black in the back. Gray and black is an option, and I think those are kind of the three that I'm seeing, from small all the way to extra, extra large if you're interested in those. Cinnamon broom, this thing smells so good and it's only $3.99. This is 36 inches, also known as three feet. Are you impressed with my mapping? <laughs> I'm impressed with myself. Oh, this is so pretty. It is hand scented with cinnamon oil, freshen the scent of any room, versatile home decor. That is really cool. I never would have thought of that. They're brilliant. And then $4.99 for the stick umbrella. I just feel like a little thing of that by your front door just feels like fall. It feels fancy. It feels good. These are some really pretty handles too. I love that. 
Those are huge. They're gorgeous. This black and gold one, I love. We've got purple. What's this one? Kind of like a black with flowers on it, it looks like. Very nice, only $4.99. 368 for the sparkling cider. I'm starting to see this places. We love our sparkling grape juice, and so sparkling cider would probably be a lot of fun. These are alcohol free, by the way, and something fun that maybe you could put in little cups and just have a little fun with. To add to my own groceries, I'm gonna grab some milk. It is $2.47 for one of these guys. I just need one this time, just one. Also, we're gonna grab two things of eggs, $1.12 for these guys. How about the sweetie treats up at the front? We've got whipped cheesecake. This one is a creamy whipped cheesecake in a cookie crust. No artificial flavors or colors, no high fructose corn syrup. You just thaw it and serve it, and it's $5.99. You get the choice between this lovely or the chocolate cream pie. That one looks really, really good, and you get it with a chocolatey cookie crust, which I say, yeah, $5.99. Last week I actually recorded these, they were new then, but it didn't like go onto my my phone correctly. I don't know. I'm gonna tell you about them now. Instead, we have vanilla minis or the mint minis. Those look really good. They kind of look like Oreo cookies, really. Ice cream cookie sandwiches. And they are $4.39 for the box of them. How many do you get? 12. And remember they're mini. So I don't know, is it worth it? Maybe. Wait, what? Three cheese beet crust? Made with a creamy white sauce topped with mozzarella, provolone, and I don't even know how to say that. Emmenthaler? Emmenthaler cheese? Okay, non GMO ingredients, no added flavors, no preservatives, no palm oil. And then they have margarita pumpkin crust made with cherry, tomato, basil, garlic, spinach, and mozzarella. Okay, so they just, they went all in. They're like, you know what, let's really spice up life. $4.99. Please try those and tell me what your mouth says. I'm not sure I'm brave enough yet. If you have enough people tell me they're good, I'll try them. Several of you told me that Mama's Biscuits, these cheddar chive biscuits are really good. So if you're interested, $4.99 for those. Guys, it really is almost fall. Look at it outside, dark, dark. And I mean, it is nearly 8 p.m., but what can you do? Okay, we're home again, home again, jiggity jig. And the total for Aldi, was 59.02, not too bad, but we got the stuffs that we needed. And the thing that we really needed was a little sweater for George. And I think he's ready. I think he's ready to put it on. What do you think, Joe? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I cool. see it? Oh yeah, let's put it on him. Oh, Georgie boy, come here. Georgie, Georgie. Okay, we, of course we got the yellow with the stripes. Oh my word. <laughs> That's the question. I've never put a sweater on a dog. How do you guys deal it? I think we're gonna just hot dog them in there. <laughs> Come here, little hot dog. So George got shaved recently, but his fur's starting to grow back. He's got long, fluffy hair. Georgie, sit. Good boy. Like it snappy. Oh. Yes, Georgie boy. We got one arm. Okay, this isn't too bad. George, what do you think? He's it's like, don't do this. <laughs> Georgie, we didn't get you quite right. Let's try it again. <laughs> okay, George, are you loving it? <laughs> are you loving it? <laughs> he He's like, oh, okay, what have you done? Well, that's his review. He's wearing it, and so he's not crying. George, what do you rate it? Is it 10 out of 10? I think it's. It I, looks cozy. I think it's one out of ten. All right, let's try some of our other food treasures, shall we? Mm -hmm. Next up, we're gonna try pumpkin spice pretzels. Remember, they did have the apple cinnamon. I just like pumpkin, is that okay? These are yogurt covered pretzels, naturally flavored, which makes a lot of sense. Aren't those cute? Whoa. <sighs> Guys. That smells like a candle. I'm really scared to try this. Oh, what have I gotten myself into? Okay, that was disappointing. That's a little too much like a candle. The pretzel was great. The yogurtness of it, great. The consistency, everything. But this was like candle in a bag. I'm gonna go ahead and give that like a, 
That's like a good one out of 10, I would not recommend. But maybe your taste buds will speak differently to you. That's the thing, we all have different taste buds and we all have different preferences. You never know. Okay, premium fig is up next, and this is the fruit spread. Do I put this on? Do I put this on the Norwegian crisp bread? Do I do that? I don't know. Herb and sea salt? Mm. I'll smell it first, and we'll see if it seems like a good idea to use the fig spread. It's very grainy. You know, I can tell there's grain going on. Oh, oh. Ooh, that is very much like a fig. I'm very excited about this one. I'm a little bit nervous about the bread. I don't know. You know what, all you can do is try. All you can do is try. We become food explorers, that's what we are. Okay, I think it's herby. Whoa. Very crispy, very seedy. I don't know that the fig was the best choice. <laughs> Let's try it with butter. Butter. Okay, much better. In case you wanna know what's in this. Sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, whole meal, rye flour, oat bran, oats, flax seeds, spelt brain, spelt brain, no, spelt bran, <laughs> wheat bran, water, sea salt, salt, oregano, and thyme. So it does contain wheat and sesame. And I see this in my Costco video, but I should tell you guys, I do eat gluten-free. Um, I am not celiac or anything like that. I just get, uh, I had this gastroenteritis five years ago and uh, it caused a lot of inflammation in my intestines, a lot of pain, it took about two years to heal from. And I had to go gluten-free, corn-free, rice-free uh, during that time. Well, since then, I've been able to introduce those things back into my diet, but I go through times when my body gets cranky with me and it's like, that's a no. And it's all swollen and hard and cranky and I just feel terrible. And within just 24 hours of going gluten-free and rice-free, it's like I'm a new woman. So occasionally, I cannot do rice anymore at all, but occasionally I can still try things with gluten in it because I tested it. Because sometimes it's just good is what it is. Okay, these are really good. I like it with the butter. It's kind of just, it's just, it's good. I think this would be great with a charcuterie board. It's fun, it's fantastic. And also the fig spread. I really like this. It's just figs, sugar, figs and sugar, pretty pectin. Not much to go for that one, so. Yum, I'm gonna have my dad try this one too. I think he's really gonna like it. And it tastes just like figs. So there's my story guys. Thanks so much for shopping with me and for checking out what's new and for taste testing with me. If you love knowing what's new at Aldi and Sam's Club and Costco, if you love grocery hauls, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel, come be part of the fun. And I hope that you have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.